Hi, Tim Two Wheels here, and on today's how-to video, I'm going to be installing a set of the Machine Art Moto X-Head LC on a water-cooled GS. So stick around and we'll get started right after this. Okay, so before we get started on this project, I just wanted to review with you everything that comes in the Machine Art Moto X-Head LC kit. Uh, so first of all, you get your protectors here. Uh, each of them have an interior rubber liner as well. I'm going to go into a little more detail about that uh, here in just a minute. It comes with two uh, Torx or T25 screws that are in addition to what's on the bike currently. And then you will replace the existing bolts, uh, two of the bolts, one on each side that you take out with these longer versions to accommodate the, the mounting of this. Uh, you will reuse the, the washer and the rubber a seal that comes off of the original factory bolt. Uh, and then you also get a nice set of printed instructions in color. Uh, it's one-sided, but it has everything on here that you need to know uh, to install. So that's everything that comes in the kit. Now to perform the installation, uh, you will need a Torx 25 screwdriver or T25 bit and uh, for your ratchet. Uh, you will uh, need a, a T50 uh, bit as well, and also a torque wrench. Uh, it's, it's important because you do need to torque this back to factory specs when you reinstall that bolt here. Uh, you may opt to use an extension or a longer uh, T50 um, um, socket for your, for your ratchet. Uh, lastly, you will need a light oil or WD-40 or something like that uh, to when you're slipping that rubber washer off of this factory bolt and then also reapplying it to the new bolts It just helps to lubricate so that you don't tear up that uh, that rubber seal that comes off that uh, that head bolt That's all the tools that you really need to do this job Now you will need some additional tools if you have an adventure like I do a GS adventure because I have the uh, BMW OEM crash bars on there and they will have to come off before we can install these if you just have the standard GS model without crash bars, uh, then they'll just bolt right up. You don't need to, uh, to do anything special. So now I want to give you a closer look at these Machine Art Moto protectors. The, the three main reasons that I picked this particular style over the uh, traditional aluminum or stainless steel metal ones that, that you see on so many bikes made by companies like Altrider and Touratech and many other good companies. Uh, they're fine products, but I wanted something that blended with the bike a little better and gave me better coverage. And the Machine Art Moto product uh, does that. So first of all, it is made of a very durable, hard nylon. Uh, it has this rubber liner that's molded to fit inside and also molded to fit the shape of the head on the BMW water-cooled boxer. Uh, uh, perfectly. Uh, it then lines up with these holes and the pins that are uh, molded inside the uh, nylon head cover, head protector, and it just fits right in there and, and sits in there pretty, pretty well. This protector uh, it covers 80% of the valve cover uh, on the BMW water-cooled engine. I like the way it wraps around the bottom, so you have good coverage on the bottom as well as on the side uh, coming up almost to the top. So giving me good protection if it were to lay over on its side and a rock were to stick through or some uh, you know, pointy rock were to go through the crash bars, uh, it would still hit the head and could potentially puncture it. And this gives, us much, gives me much better coverage than any of the others. And the last reason was uh, style, honestly, uh, looks. Uh, I wanted something that looked better than the traditional metal or stainless steel uh, bent uh, covers. Uh, this blends with the bike. I like the style of it. All right, so uh, enough about this. Let's go ahead and uh, get started working on the bike. All right, so in the previous section, uh, I told you about the actual tools that you needed, the T25 and the T50 to install the um, machine motor art protector itself. But if you happen to be the owner uh, of a GS Adventure like this uh, and have the factory OEM crash bars on here, which this will fit with the factory, uh, the BMW OEM crash bars, but there is an extra step. Uh, you need to remove the lower crash bars in order to give yourself enough room to get in here and install uh, the protector. Uh, and then of course, once it's on, you can put the crash bars back on. Okay, in order to remove this uh, lower crash bar, uh, we do need to remove uh, a few bolts here. So one is here, 
just follow the crash bar and you'll see where it mounts to the bike. So we need to remove this one. We need to remove this one. We need to remove the one that goes up under here. And then we'll have to loosen it from the upper crash bar at this joint right here. So let me get started removing all those and getting that crash bar out of the way. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is to uh, remove this cover, uh, this OEM cover that's on here. And that is done by taking a, the T25 and removing this screw in the front. So let's retain that because we will reuse this screw. Next, then this cover should just pop forward and pop out, put it aside, store it away. You won't be reusing this piece. The next step is to use the a Torx 50 and remove this rear bolt. So again, let's go ahead and remove this. And you'll notice when you take this out, it doesn't take a whole lot of, of pressure to break that bolt free. So that gives you an indication that when you tighten it, we're only going to tighten it back to 75 inch pounds. Uh, so we do not want to over tighten these. So we're backing it out until it stops coming out. And then you just want to reach in here and pull. You'll notice there's a bit of resistance because there's a rubber seal in here behind this cup washer. And we're just going to pull and it comes out. So you have this cup washer and this rubber seal that we are going to be reusing on the new bolt. So this is the OEM bolt, of course, uh, and you'll notice the ones that come with the X-Head LC is just slightly longer. Uh, and that's just enough to make the difference uh, for the X-Head. So to get these off, the instructions recommend you use a light oil or WD-40. And we're just going to put a little bit of oil on here um, and on the threads. And that's just to help ease that rubber seal up over this lug and then off of the threads. So you should just be able to put your fingers behind that, hold it, and press, just work it, and it pops right off. You may have to work it a little bit, but it will pop over that lug. Now the OEM bolts, again, put it aside. We will not be reusing these. Instead, we will take our new X head bolt and uh, get it ready. But you don't want to put this rubber washer, at, this rubber seal and cup washer on yet. It needs to go through uh, the uh, protector first. So let's get the correct head protector. And again, they go like this. The big hole will be in the, to the rear and it'll go on like so. So we want to make sure we have our rubber liner installed. So let's get that set in here and we take our bolt that came with the kit put it through the hole then we're going to reverse the process we're going to put a little bit of uh, oil in here again to help ease it up over across the threads and up over that lug and then we want to make sure when we put it on that we put it in this direction uh, we want the uh, washer to go on first and we want the rubber seal to be pointing the the smaller layer to be pointing in There. So when you get it installed, my hands are a little oily from that, but uh, it's going to look like this. So with our rubber liner in place and seated properly, we're going to take this and line it up inside this uh, ridge here, uh, just as the plastic part. So getting our bolt lined up, push it in, and then work to make sure that the rubber liner is seated all the way up. Now let's go ahead and push this in and get the, um, the bolt started by finger. Uh, we don't want to cross thread this thing. And I can feel it working its way in. So I'm going to use a, a tool, still tighten it by hand, just so that I can get it uh, close. And I'm not tightening it, I just want to snug it up where it'll hold the cover in place, but yet you still want to be able to, to move it around. Now, taking the original screw that came out of the front, we want to put that back in. 
Again, looking over here, making sure that we have the threads lined up. Push in and move around as needed. There, and making sure that there's no resistance, it's not cross-threaded. And I'm just going to go ahead and snug that up as well, just barely, because uh, I still want to be able to move this guy around as needed uh, to get this last screw. Now, taking one of the new T25 screws that came with your X-head kit, uh, you'll notice in this picture here, there is a, a pre-tapped uh, bung or lug in the bottom of the head that BMW puts in there at the factory. And that's where this bottom screw is going to line up. Now to make sure that I get this uh, installed properly, I'm going to lay down here. So note the direction of the threads. Sorry for any poor quality, but I had to unhook my mic. It's slightly at an angle. They don't go straight up from the bottom. It's, it's kind of in at an angle from the front. And while I'm tightening this, I'm going to go ahead and snug this up. So, so now we have the bottom one tightened. I'm going to come back in here and tighten this front T25 by hand. And snug that up pretty good. It doesn't have to be super, super tight. Just, just tight enough to make sure everything stays uh, in place. So now uh, I have my torque wrench uh, set to 75 inch pounds, not foot pounds, inch pounds. Uh, we don't want to over tighten these bolts. Uh, for that reason, I'm using a, uh, my smaller quarter inch drive uh, torque wrench because my bigger one doesn't go this low in, in settings. And I have an adapter on here to accommodate my T50. So let's go ahead and put that in. Tighten this up the rest of the way. There we go, starting to tighten up. So let's listen for the torque break. There we go. Hear the click. So that is uh, torqued to 75 inch pounds. That's as tight as it needs to be. And there we go. So that's what it looks like installed. It's nice and sturdy. Uh, I'll feel a lot better if I lay this thing over off road and uh, knowing that these are on there. So here I want to give you a little closer look, uh, looking down at the top, and you'll see how that rubber liner just fits beautifully uh, to take up any of that space. So next I'm just going to reinstall my lower crash bars, and uh, then I'll give you a look to see what that, uh, how it looks with those installed. All right, one thing that I want to point out here is if you do have a GS Adventure with the OEM uh, BMW crash bars on it, the lower crash bars have this uh, rubber bumper uh, that's installed and from the top it looks like this so you can see it sticks out quite a bit further uh, than uh, particularly on the 2017 and 18 models um, 2016 and earlier uh, it was a little thinner but what you may need to do is to trim this a bit because uh, when you go to put it back on uh, and on my bike I noticed it pressed against the uh, X head uh, covers and it, it needed to have a little more room now, I could get the crash bars back on, but I really had to force it, and it was wanting to put uh, a lot of pressure, uh, well, a fair amount of pressure on the uh, X head. So I looked at the uh, Machine Art Moto website, and they recommended either trimming this, or in some cases, uh, uh, people have drilled out these rivets and removed this bumper altogether. Uh, I don't want to remove it altogether. Uh, I want to keep this bumper on here. So what I'm going to do is just take a, uh, a blade and trim uh, probably about four millimeters off of this and fit it back onto the bike. So I'm going to need to do that on each side, but I just wanted to give you a close up and explain uh, that process. Uh, your bike may vary. Uh, you'll want to test fit the crash bars and see they may go on uh, because there are variances between the models with, with different bikes. Uh, in, in BMW's line.